just quickly, I would like to address the fact that I haven't uploaded in a long time. And uh, the reason for that is, number one, I got a summer job. And number two, I changed all my editing software. So the software I use for my video and my audio. And it's just taken a while to uh, learn these new programs and get comfortable using them. With that done and over with, let's jump straight into the video. In this video, we will be learning how to iron our Air Cadet uniform. I'll be dividing this video into two parts. The first part being how to iron your pants, and the second, how to iron your shirt. Here are a list of supplies you will need in order to follow along with this tutorial. Number one, an ironing board or surface to iron on. Number two, an iron. Number three, an old pillowcase. Number four, your pants, number five, your shirt, and number six, a spray bottle, just in case your iron does not have a spray function already built in. The first thing you need to do when ironing is to have a structural understanding of the textile you are using. Using this knowledge, we will break down the item into manageable parts or sections to iron one at a time. But before that, here are some do's and don'ts with ironing. Do. Use an old pillowcase. This is just in case you have the iron too high and you burn the fabric a bit. Instead of burning the fabric, you'll burn the old pillowcase. Do. Use lots of steam. This is how irons get rid of wrinkles and form nice crisp creases. Do. Keep moving the iron around, otherwise you're going to burn your fabric. Here are some don'ts. Don't turn the temperature up too high or you're going to burn your fabric. Don't use the iron without any water, you will have very poor results. Don't iron over the buttons or you might melt or crack them. And don't leave the iron unattended. An unattended iron is a major fire hazard. With that said, we can now break down the pants, the easier of the two. Let's break the trousers down into the two legs, the left and the right and then one more time for each leg into the outward and inward facing sides with a crease down the center front and back of the pants. It is important that the creases go all the way from the bottom of the pants to the top of the belt loop. Now that we have ironed the trousers, we can use that mindset to help us break down the dress shirt. In this video, I will separate the shirt into five unique sections. The first being the right front side. This side most commonly has the buttons on it, making it a little harder to iron than the other. To mitigate that issue, just use the pointed snout of the iron to go in between the buttons. The back of the shirt is the next part you should iron. Because it is the largest part, you may need to iron one half at a time. Depending on the shirt, there also might be a pleat. Do not try to iron it in, but instead just smooth the area out, then iron. Now iron the left front side.
With that done, you now have ironed the majority of the shirt. To iron the collar, simply unfold it and smooth it down flat onto the ironing board. Then, just iron over it using lots of steam. For the sleeves, you are going to be ironing in creases. To do this, you need to find the center top, then fold it and smooth it down onto the ironing board. You're going to be doing this sideways so that you can iron the sleeve while the crease is at the corner. Iron over the entire sleeve using moderate pressure and lots of steam. Ironing creases are the hardest the first round. Once you've already ironed them, it's quite easy to go back and make them look sharp again. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you liked the video, please consider subscribing or leaving a like. It helps a lot. If you have any questions or comments, I will be glad to answer them in the comments section below. Okay, go have fun ironing. Just try not to burn your house down.